Hey, hey, I'm Dave Rett, and let's talk about balance lines. I made this balance line demo unit here to try and demonstrate how they work. Basically, the green bar represents ground, the red bar will represent pin two, and the black will represent pin three. Let's put the input on the bottom. Let's say we have a microphone and there's a coil of wire, and this is attached to one end of the coil of wire. This is attached to the other end of the coil of wire. And this ground is attached to the microphone housing and also around the wires in the cable. And when that coil moves back and forth, it creates a voltage and it will increase as the diaphragm moves in and then out. It will send voltage back and forth between pin two and pin three. And the ground stays at zero volts and it moves back and forth. Now the ground on a balance line is not really necessary. So we could actually get rid of the ground and we can move it off to the side there. And we can see that even with the ground not connected, we still can have a coil generating a balance line. Now on the other end, on the receiving end of the balance line circuit, we have a mixing board that takes in polarity and the out of polarity, the equal and opposite voltages, and it reverses polarity in one and sums them together. And if you look at the scope over here, we can see we have the in polarity is the first, the blue here. The out of polarity is the yellow. And it doesn't really matter if the sine wave is going up or down, it just matters that they're equal and opposite. Balanced lines are truly balanced. They're both pins are always hot. And the red trace shows reversing the polarity of the yellow one and adding it together to create the red one. So the ground is not involved. There's a coil of wire that's generating that and going down the wire. What happens with an unbalanced line? Well, with an unbalanced line, what we do is we combine one of those wires. Let's combine, actually let's do it the other way. Let's combine the black wire. We'll call that pin three. Oh, and we have a collapse of the unit. We'll combine that wire with, we'll move that over and we'll combine that wire with the ground. So we're going to short the ground and one of those two together. And this forms our unbalanced circuit. So an unbalanced circuit, that coil is generating electricity, the coil in the microphone or whatever signal is being sent. And since this is a ground now, and I'm also using these mic, clip, mic stand and clip holding on to this to represent the ground. It's grounded. It doesn't move. It's a zero volt. So now what happens is when the voltage is sent, just the one wire moves in relation. So there's an unbalanced signal and the, as we saw before, the balance signal. So we can look over at the scope and I can unbalance the signals that we have here. So I can take and short. So now I've shorted this pin to ground and we saw the yellow one get bigger and the output stays about the same. So we can try that. And there's it shorted. That's an unbalanced signal where we double the size of the yellow versus the two smaller signals that are out of polarity and added together. And we get the output there. So that's what's represented with the unbalanced signal. If we go back to the balance line, both of those work very similarly in actual function. The balance line requires a little bit of extra electronics on the front end of the mixing board. One of the advantages of a balance line is if a signal is induced onto both of these. Like I was to move the mic stand while this is going here and this is still moving up and down. If I move the mic stand, if I create a, and if this was held still, the ground didn't move. That would create a signal that's on both this red and black wire. Well, just like we saw here, when we have two signals that are opposite and they've been subtractive, and the input mic pre's of our consoles are subtractive and they create that doubling. Well, I can actually go and show you what happens if the same signal is on both of them. And here we can see that, I'll turn this down. The red line is the output when I have an additive signal. I basically added the two signals together instead of subtracted them. And because they're equal and opposite, when we add them together, we get nothing. Well, the sent signals on a balanced line are equal and opposite. But any noise that gets induced on the line is not equal and opposite. It's the same for both. So when this subtractive preamp is on the front end of your mixing on balance line input, it 
adds together anything that's the opposite and cancels out anything that's the same, therefore giving us a noise reduction system. All right, hope that makes sense. Give something to do. I've been trying to envision in my head, how can I demonstrate how a balance line works? And this is my first try. Tell me if you like it. Cool, cool. <laughs>